Hello everybody, my name is Abominable, and welcome to Fingerbones. This is supposed to be an indie psychological horror game. Basically, nothing really happens in the game other than it tells a story. We read pages, it tells a story, and obviously we weigh up our reaction against that which we read. Um, and it says it all right in the top of the screen there. <clears throat> so anyway, one sitting, uh, it says about half an hour. But who knows? Um, yeah, we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh wow! I like them cobwebs. It's very good. Pixely but good. Okay. Here we go. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. Morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce. It should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Well, that was vague. Vaguest thing I've heard today. <laughs> ah, torch. Why are you indented? Okay, no. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. It's just a box. The lighting's great in this game. Like, really great. I should probably sit back a bit more. Okay, there's a knife. Knife stabbed into the table. Nash. Let's read that one. It's my weekend to get Katie. But I'm really not in the mood. I distract her with the TV. And I came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading. So I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help and divorce certainly didn't help. But I am not depressed. I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philo philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. Fair enough. Obviously, to the thing. Is that back wall panel open? No. Okay. On the floor. No. Did I read that one? No, I didn't. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay. Oh, hang on. What was that? It's like a pin. Oh, I can't pick it up. Never mind. Never mind. Exit, I don't want to exit the game. Okay, so we've already reached that point in the game where I'm stuck. Great! Great! I wish I could run. Oh, is that a draw? Okay, nope, that's not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Boxes, stuff. Oh, oh, that's lit up now. Oh, it's a keyboard. Um, hello. Okay, okay, so the clue is in the message. I'm a little bit lost. 
What do I write? The words that I've seen? Oh, do I just write open? my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker. Oh, I think we're in the survival bunker. Whatever keeps her happy, uh, I suppose she's like her mother. Okay, so it's a name. So the code is a name. So what name did I see? Uh, no name there. Page over here and a page on the table, I think it was. Um, okay. Katie, Katie. Wow, well, I don't know, I just saw the name Katie. Uh, okay, so Katie. Oh! Something unlocked. Let's try the door first. <gasps> yeah. is a bunker. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Oh, well, that well, was creepy. Oh, another one. A box of everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't uh, for scientific edification. Edification? I don't know. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. What? 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 There was another one. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Um, okay. Um, okay. So... me so the next um, name I, I saw was Lynn L-Y-N-N -N. let's try that one L-Y-N oh sorry N-N -N. yes god I wish I moved a bit faster 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 Try the door first. Yes, it has worked beautifully. Okay. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Okay. Something behind here at all? No. It's very foggy. Alright, next one. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman. And now I realise there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. This breathing's me, isn't it? I'm I'm one of the girls. That's that's what I'm guessing at least, because uh, it's the only way to keep myself sane. Right, wrench. Okay, another sheet there. Okay, a 
changed the storeroom code to something I could easily remember. N and Y. The rest of the word is missing. N and Y. No idea. N and Y. Is it, if it's the rest of the word, is it the rest of the word before or after the NNY? Is it like Danny or something? Hmm. Imagine if it was easy as just doing NNY and then followed by a letter. A. Nope. Oh, N N Y L. Neil. N Neil. That's a weird name. That's the password to the storage room. I believe. Just checking the time. Oh my. Okay. That was creepy. I'm a bag of DNA and I exist to take. Sorry, and I exist to make more of myself. What? I married and produced a daughter because my genes demanded reprodu uh, reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by, but my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence. Figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses from a point mo pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth, for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Okay. Hmm. That's the only one in here, isn't it? Ooh, a button. Let's press. the button open the hatch at the other end of the the main room i keep getting creeped out a little bit but i have to keep telling myself that it's not a horror game it's a story based game did that do anything oh it's a little bit different yes finger bones okay the cellar is freedom do you know, I was so tempted from, I think it was this one. Um, I don't know, it was one of the pieces of paper that I read. I was so tempted to just try the word freedom. There we go. I was, I don't know why. Uh, if I did that, I would have ended the game straight away and it would have been like 10 minutes long. Okay, so this should be the cellar unlocked, yes? I believe so. Oh, yes it is. Nothing ahead, is there? Christ's sake, man. There's only enough food for one. So, she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. I don't like this. There's a lot of blood. What the hell, man? 
No. No. It's going to be behind me. I'm going to look at the paper and it's going to be behind me. I just know it. Do this to the side. No way I'm getting creeped out. It seems to have been torn from my diary. Look away and... Oh. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. My fingerless... My anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. Her fingers are your anti-religious artifacts. I am content in the knowledge that I have done, uh, that I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, yeah, you have. Of course you have. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time, with one last flicker. The flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Yeah, game, no problem. Just as soon as you're finished with your thing, just cut straight to my screen. Thanks very much. Anyway, if you liked the video, then please hit the like button. If you do want to see any more, then please hit subscribe. I'll put my Steam review of this game in below. I did like it, actually. I thought it was very good. I felt like something was going to jump up behind me at the end. Um, because that seems to be a lot of David... Uh, what's his name? Sh Shitskinski or something? But that seems to be the kind of material that he puts forward. So I did expect to get uh, scared at the end. So yeah, my Steam review will go below. Hit like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.